Hi, it's Mark here from Phytology Podiatry Centre, and I'm over at Flo Pilates today with with the owner of Flo, Tamara. So, Hi, yeah. Mark. <laughs> how, how are you going, Tamara? It's great to be over here. So good to have you. Yeah, Flo, Flo is a local Victoria Point business, and uh, we certainly we share some of the same clients and patients. We do. Uh, and yeah, so we wanted to come over and find out more about what you do and and how Pilates can help with the feet. Certainly. Yeah. Let's. Let's get started. Yeah, well, tell, um, us, tell us a little bit more about oh, that. Okay, um, well, Joseph Pilates, the inventor of, or the creator of Pilates, he uh, always started the reformer workout with footwork, which sets the, um, the body up for a good alignment um, for the rest of the class. Yeah, so it's really important to make sure our feet are working well, isn't it? It's yeah. very important. It helps with balance. It helps with um, uh, your walking, general everyday activities. Okay, so we're going to, Tamara is going to show us some exercises yep. that we can be doing. So let's get into it. Okay. Cool. <laughs> so Tamara, what are some of the exercises you can do with a ball for your feet? Um, okay, so ball, the ball can be used to uh, release your feet and yep. um, by releasing your feet, the tight muscles and um, structures in your feet, then um, you can gain better balance and uh, a little bit of strength. Then. Yeah. Okay. Um, so you can step onto the ball, into the middle of the foot, and then off the ball. So, and just go with the amount of pressure that you can stand. Right. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. And then it can, it can get intense. Can't it I? can be a little bit nasty yeah. at times. So, and then just hold the pressure. Um, back off if it's too much. Just start to move some of your joints around, <laughs> and um, and keep the pressure constant. And then then you can come off the ball and move it to a different spot. So underneath the big toe joint, and then underneath the second toe joint, and then just continue through the rest of the toes. And you'll notice that the little joint pops up when you're on that joint so just roll the ball a little bit further down the foot to get to the pinky toe joint and then you can go to this the next position which is just um, underneath the outside of the arch pressing on and then releasing off just a couple of times and then moving the ball down to the front of the arch there and pressing on and off um, from there, you can just keep the pressure down and just do some nice little side-to-side -side motions, massaging the fascia that goes underneath the heel, which, as you know, can get a little bit can get, tender yeah. and tight. I'm just tight. thinking for some people, they might need to be a little bit careful with that one. It could be a bit tender. Yep. Yeah. And then you can just do a nice full um, um, push through down to the heel from the big toe joint and then down every every that one uh, that one looks good i think that one will feel pretty good <laughs> the to be skating, doing the yeah. skating motion um yeah. and then a, a nice all over rub through the sole of the foot can okay. really finish that off nicely and um, create a nice sensation of uh, an awareness underneath the sole of the foot so then once you stand you'll feel that um all of the joints that are above the the foot um, soften. <laughs> soften, yeah. And I look, I know too that um, this is something that we often do and mm -hmm. getting in and rolling the foot can actually help with your hamstring length as well and help yes. you get a little bit lower down to the ground. Can. So. Do you want to have a go? Because it looks like you need some. <laughs> oh, that, that's, that's good. We've just finished a session. And that, my, that's my hamstrings at their best. So. Okay, <laughs> yeah. so we'll work on that again. <laughs> well, yeah, well, well, that's a lot better than they were in the past. So Norm it normally is. it's about here. It so is, yeah. You've come a long way. That's a massive. Well, and that, that brings us on to we've been coming and seeing Tamara for, for quite a few years now. And um, yeah, so Tamara, I mean, mm -hmm. if someone comes and works with you, what, what kind of benefits and do they see from, from coming and doing Pilates? Okay, so a lot of people uh, come to Pilates just so that they can leave their life behind for an hour or 50 minutes um, and just focus solely on their own body and connect their mind back to their body. Um, they'll often feel uh, an increased amount of awareness. Um, so a lot of people walk in and their shoulders are up here. So the shoulders will end up um, dropping down. Nice the alignment, the posture, the, um, the mobility. So if you can't reach your arm overhead, maybe by 
you know, after a few are sessions, the, you'll you, be able you to. Are you looking at me there tomorrow? <laughs> Show me. <laughs> <No>. <laughs> yeah. So, um, yeah, there's just a, a, an increased sense of alignment, posture, strength, stretch, um, and just a general well-being, uh, feel-good yeah. um, feeling as you walk out the door. So you'll feel a lot taller as well. Yeah, uh, and look, um, I've been coming to, to Pilates and Ari, my wife, have been coming to Pilates now with you for it must be five or six years. Yep. And like we've had huge benefit from, from doing it. I've gone through some shoulder injuries and mm -hmm. stuff, but you're talking about shoulders there and, and yep. got a lot more mobility. And it's not just from working on the shoulder, is it? It's, no. it's working on posture and um, yeah. yeah, and I am a lot more flexible, believe it or not, when I'm bending, <laughs> bending over. Um, yeah, so we, we've had huge benefit from it. So we thank you for that. And, You're um, welcome. Yeah, coming along and, and thank you for sharing it with our patients today about Pilates and the benefits. Pleasure. And some ball exercises. Yeah, okay. give them a try. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, enjoy. Thanks a lot. Bye.